Corus has invested heavily in a whole new approach to steel production. The direct sheet plant. This new plant combines two previously separate sheet processes, casting and rolling. On one end of the new line, liquid steel is introduced. At the other end, 500 meters away, the completed strip product comes rolling out of the mill. A single process under complete control from beginning to end. After the casting, the steel, now in a 70 millimeter thick strand, is cut to size before entering the tunnel furnace. In the roughing mill, the thickness of the slab is reduced to approximately 20 millimeters. In the finishing mill, the strip achieves its final thickness of between one and three millimeters, monitored to extremely close tolerances. This results in coils of high-grade chorus steel, each weighing from 10 to 35 tons, at a maximum rate of one coil every 90 seconds. So far, nothing too spectacular. What makes this plant so unique, then? Instead of cutting the slab to size before it is fed into the tunnel furnace, with this installation, a slab of up to 270 meters long can be rolled, which is then cut with a flying shear just before the strip reaches the coiler. Chorus has developed a unique technique for keeping wastage at the head and the tail of the slab to a minimum and substantially increasing the production capacity. How does this work in practice? As the rolled slab reaches the cut point, the flying shear assumes the same speed as the slab. It continues on its way without interruption. A mandrel in pass line position is waiting at the end of the cycle. The wrapper rolls that are going to guide the strip onto the mandrel are positioned as near as possible to the mandrel. Once several wraps around the mandrel have been completed, the wrapper rolls and the circular guides are pulled back. As the steel continues to be coiled, the mandrel turns away from the pass line position and is replaced by a second mandrel. This rotation is called a drum turn in the jargon. When the new mandrel is in the pass line position, the wrapper rolls and the circular guides are returned to their positions. Finally, the top pinch roll is put into place. Now it is necessary to wait until the strip that is being wound reaches the desired length. Because the speed of the strip at the moment of cutting is very high, just prior to cutting, a deflector frame is pushed against the coil. This prevents the loose end of the strip from lashing about. Just after the cut, the head of the strip is taken up by the mandrel that is there in its waiting position. The tail of the finished coil is guided as well as possible through the frame, and the slowing down of the coil can begin. Afterwards, the deflector frame and the circular guides are removed. A coil car is elevated to transport the coil. Now the coil can be detached from the mandrel. During the transporting of the coil, the circular guides of the new coil are removed and the next drum turn can take place. Due to the maximum slab length of 270 meters, this cycle can be repeated 15 times without interruption. 